Hey English 100, we're back. Today's activity is designed to help you really get a jump on our E3 assignment, particularly on crafting items that will fit perfectly in your introduction. So let's get started. All right, so here we are in our Brightspace page. Of course, your announcements is up over here, including the link to this video that you're now watching. So all the stuff that I sent to your email is always right here in announcements. We're gonna to go to course tools and then discussions. This week we are doing a writing activity. So scroll down to where it says week eight. Before you do this week's discussion board in our lab, our 100 class, you will need to complete your line in the E3 planning document that I discussed in our 101 video. So just as a reminder, looks like this. And you have to come in and fill in one row, just one row that simply tells me what's your community, what's your audience, what are you writing, what's the problem, what do you think we should do about it, and are you working by yourself or with a partner? After you've done that and you've filled in that row and you've kind of thought, thought through some of those things, I want you to watch this video. It's pretty short. It's only four minutes long or so. It's going to talk about in detail how to write a problem statement. There are four things that you should include. It's going to explain all four things. Once you finish the video in a message box of a new thread, I want you to write that problem statement. It can be as short as four sentences. It can be longer if you need it to be. In the subject line, I just want you to remind us of the things that we need to know about your assignment. So that is specifically, who is your community, who you're writing to, your audience, and what are you writing? A letter, essay, whatever it might be. Last, of course, you're going to read and reply to your fellow classmates here in our lab about what you think they did well, uh, what they could add, what could be removed. Uh, and that is all that we have for our lab this week. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please send me an email. See you later.